Looney Tunes Nail Art Tutorial Part 1 by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I am going to be showing you part one of my 2019 Nails Magazine mural contest entry. And this here I went with a Looney Tunes theme and I did all kinds of Looney Tunes characters. I believe there were nine of them and I did it on a different shape than I usually I just lined all my 10 tips up in like a long skinny panel. This time I did it in two different layers which I thought added a little bit better space for this particular design. So I hope you guys like part one which I'm going to be showing you how I assembled the tips and made it so they stayed together as well as sketching out the background and doing just the background stuff. So I hope you guys like this and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I have all 10 of my nail tips all laid out and I get them into the shape that I'm going for, which today I'm gonna to make basically a square with them. And I'm taking a coffee stir stick and I slid it underneath and I measured how long they were all lined up like that. And I'm gonna flip them over so they're curved up. So the part I'll be painting is facing down and I lined them all up really nice and straight again. And I take my little stir stick and I line up some hot glue on the back of it and I set that down just like that to glue all the nail tips together. Now, one thing I just wanna mention is that I am really familiar with using hot glue and I personally am not worried about burning myself. It's one of those things where I've been using hot glue since I was eight. I've, I mean, with supervision and all that, but I, I am used to it. If you are not a fan of hot glue or you don't think you can handle it, acrylic is always an option for this. But for me, I am very accustomed to hot gluing things. So I was like, okay, I'm using hot glue for this. Then I'm going to take and mark my little stir sticks once again to connect myself, my square. Now, if you were doing just like a five nail tip, smaller mural, or if you were just doing them in a line or however, you obviously wouldn't need to make a square necessarily. But for this design, I decided that a square shape would be the best just to get my little Looney Tunes characters into it all nice and evenly placed. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to be painting with painting all the nail tips with one coat of white gel polish. This is just as a base if your nail tips themselves were white, which obviously there's all sorts of colors of nail tips that you can get. But if yours were white, you probably would just skip over this step and go straight to the painting of it. But I mine are like a natural sort of foggy color and I wanted it to have a bit more of a sharp background to begin with. After I have that done, then I added a layer of matte gel top coat over the top of it and I'm going to go through and cure that. One thing I do want to mention is with something like this, I have different kinds of products that are different quality levels. For both the white and I that I used and this matte top coat, I went with the lower quality stuff that I personally wouldn't necessarily want to wear on myself just because this is something that I feel, you know, you can kind of lowball your quality products for the background, especially like that because it isn't necessary to use your really good stuff for that. Now with black acrylic paint, as you saw, I made a circle for the little the little thing that the Looney Tunes characters are in. I guess I don't know what that is for sure, but their little their little thing that they're peeking out of their little window. And then I'm going to take, still using black acrylic paint, I'm going to start sketching out my characters. So I began with Bugs Bunny in the middle. And Bugs Bunny is the character who is in front of everybody else. He's the one that is standing at the very front. So everybody else is kind of backed up around him, surrounding him. And that's where you're starting with your Bugs Bunny. Now, obviously, if you are doing different characters in a different order or however it is that you're doing, even if you're not doing Looney Tunes, but whatever is in the front, when you're doing these outlines, start there and then layer people behind it. So now I've got his, his face done, his chest, I'm working on his hand. And if anything you're doing now is not perfect, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. It's a sketch, like I called it before. It's just a sketch, so you can always go through and touch things up with that later. And if you want to touch things up so that you can get a better idea and see it better, if one of your black lines goes awry, you can always fix it up with a little bit of white acrylic paint. Basically, your eraser in this scenario, you don't have an actual eraser to use, so just some white acrylic paint will go in fix up any lines. And as you can see also with my mural, I did not try to mask any of the ridges or the fact that the nail tips curve together and then come back out. So I've got a bit of a challenge when I'm doing this because there was the different curves that you're working with and trying to get it so that when you're looking at the mural straight on and your eyes forget about the curves so they just see the image some of your lines actually end up a little bit bent so that you can get rid of the curved appearance which doesn't really make too much sense until you go about doing it but it's definitely a process that you have to work through and plus getting your lines and your paint to just do what you're asking it to when you're working inside one of those little crevices is a trick so I know that the person that won this contest this year so that she connected her nail tips with acrylic. So obviously everybody's got their different, their different methods, but she said she attached her tips together with acrylic 
And with that, I was looking at it and it looks like she also smoothed them out a little bit. So there wasn't nearly the bumps to deal with. And that's an option that you can you can definitely play around with and you can do. So after I had my Bugs Bunny did, or my Bugs Bunny done, then I went through and I just started filling in the characters. Here I'm working on uh, Wile E. Coyote, who is probably my favorite one of these characters. Obviously you can't pick a favorite, but Wile E. Coyote is high up on my list. I have Elmer Fudd, Tweety Bird, The Road Runner, and let's see, I've got all sorts of different characters in here. And when you're looking at the Looney Tunes, if you are going to do a Looney Tunes set that kind of goes along with this, I would, I mean, pick your favorites. I went through and I looked at all kinds of different pictures and I, there were so many different characters. One character that I wish I would have included, but for whatever reason I did not, is I would have really liked to include Taz because he's another one that is my, one of my favorites. So just keep going through and adding all of your all of your fun little characters. And like I said, add your favorite ones. You can go through and this would make an amazing set of nails. This wouldn't have to just be in a nail mural style. You could do this and just have a full set full of Looney Tunes characters. That would be amazing. So just keep working on it. And as you can see, I have a little bit of black paint there that just went off into the middle of La La Land. And so here I'm going to be adding Sylvester just right up in the back there. So like I said before, you kind of work from the forward going back. So now it's kind of adding Sylvester, who's just sort of hiding right there in the middle of the back. And when you're doing these and you're adding all of these characters and you are working from the front to the back, that's only for the outlines. Once you start going through, and this will be in later videos, but when you start doing them and you're filling them in, work from the back moving forwards. So this is the end of part one. There will be part two, which I'll go over doing the background. And then there'll be part three where I actually paint the different characters. So I hope you guys like this quick little series as much as I do. And if you are interested, please enter the mural contest next year. I there It's so much fun and I do highly recommend it. It's something that I look forward to every year. So please click subscribe so you can see all my future videos and I will see you next time. Bye.